Hey, this is Felix, and welcome to Nulled It Up Thursday. Sorry I haven't been doing this for a couple of weeks. You don't want to hear my excuses. If you have a better name for this show, put it in the comments. And if you have suggestions for what you want me to do on the show, put it in the comments. Also, suggestions for Monday videos, too. Well, for today's video, MetMep712 Gaming told me to eat a stick of butter. Here it goes. Uh, yum. Oh, I almost not really gonna eat a stick of butter. Put this back in the fridge. Okay, but, since this is a science show, I will be talking about the science of butter. This information was brought to you by the website of Week Magazine, W-E-E-K Magazine. The science of butter starts with the primary ingredient, milk. Milk is 88% water, 3.5% fat, 3.25% protein, and 4.6% lactose, which is a kind of sugar. After a cow is milked, they typically do two important things to refine it and make it safe. Pasteurization treats milk to destroy any harmful microbes. And milk is homogenized, homogenized, homogenized to prevent the fat from rising to the top of the milk. This is achieved by forcing fat globules, 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 into smaller and smaller particles so they can't find each other again. Oh, I'm a lonely fat globule thingy. Don't be a lonely fat globule thingy. Go to Match.com today. Similar to pushing water through a shower head into smaller and smaller droplets. Also explained the chemical basis for the key transition from cream to butter. The key principle to keep in mind is emulsion. Emulsion. The term for when one substance is fully dispersed in another substance. Cream is an emulsion that, in that fat molecules are dispersed in the main component water. Whipping up cream, however, shakes the system enough to invert the emulsion. Emulsion. Fat molecules become the continuous phase with particles of water dispersed within creating butter. Butter itself has many chemical and physical properties that play roles in the baking process. Starch and protein in flour will toughen dough, while sugar tenderizes it. Butter is mostly fat, so it tenderizes dough. However, it still possesses 16% water, which will act to strengthen dough. This principle is used to make puff pastry, where the layers of dough folded on top of each other use the steam that evaporates from butter chunks in the dough to become airy and flaky in the oven. The carbon and hydrogen field tails of fat molecules vary in length and construction. Not all fat molecules are created equal, so not all butter is created equal. And I say that all butter should be created <laughs> equal. Keep <laughs> The variable fat molecules consequently affect the physical properties of butter, such as its melting temperature and its brittleness and flexibilities. Almost done. Scientific demonstrations showed how butter with 83% fat could bend much more before breaking than butter with a mere 2% decrease with 81% fat. Mm. This principle comes into play for recipes where dough is repeatedly folded, as with puff pastries, because a flexible dough will yield the best results. Wow. <laughs> Now you'll leave smarter than you were before, with knowledge that you didn't need about butter. Join me next time on Knowledge It Up. Remember, better title in the comments. Peace. <laughs>